When I received my Benchdog Square a few weeks ago, I decided I would make a MFT style worktop. The design for my new top needed to include framework from the bench I already have, plus a method that would stop me cluttering up the bench top. After a father and son trip to Axminster Tools, I eventually decided to buy one of their path guide systems. This system ingeniously uses the 345 rule of creating a 90 degree square and lets you drill a series of 20mm diameter holes at 96mm centres. I thank those who advised me to buy an off the shelf top but on reflection I needed three so owning a jig could be beneficial. Here's how my project went.
I fix this it's not really going to come off that easy so I don't know whether to just screw it down and have done with it. I think I'll screw it down through here into them 3 b 2s it's going to be the best connection and then if and when I need to get it off I'll have to get it off I've got one of them flexible right angle screwdriver bits so I think I'll do that and then it's done with. That's the bottom part of the box part finished. Now I need to put the top on. Whilst I've been doing this, there's a couple of things that I've changed. I've not put the holes in the back, and that's because I come up with a cunning plan. But that'll be part of another video. The top that I drilled out with the three millimeter drill bit last night, I'm now gonna put on, and I'm just gonna glue that on, and then put some dowels in to hold it on. I don't wanna put any screws in the top of this one. The one I've just taken off, had about eight screws in the top, and eventually I'm gonna touch that one of them screws with the saw so I'm not going to screw this top down what I am going to do is glue it on clamp it on put some eight millimeter dowels that I bought and just drill a few wells and just drive some dowels in and then when it all dries tomorrow or maybe even next weekend then we'll finish it off probably not going to get the planer back in here I quite liked it in here as it was out of the way and I could just wheel it in and out here and use it so that might be another future project making another car when I designed this I wanted the top to overhang all the way around I quite like the, the little overhang I found it really useful on the last one because it just means you can get clamps around it if you need to clamp anything down as I know I'm going to have all these holes but even so I still like the, the overhang just got to cut this down to width because this is 620 millimeters. Can only get 570 millimeters between the roof trusses. So I need to cut this down so it just pushes in and out of the way when I when I need to make use of the uh, the larger floor space. Yeah, let's get this glued on and then I'll cut it down once all the glue's dried.
perfectly square. I'm really happy with how this build has turned out. It means I've got a little bit of storage for the tools and try not to clutter my bench top up too much. Got some further work to do on this bench. Unfortunately, I've ordered some accessories that have not turned up yet. So I'm going to have to leave this build here for this week. But I'll show you the other bits and pieces in, in another video when they actually do turn up. And that's one of the reasons why I've not drilled all the holes in the bench yet. Because I want to use the 3mm holes for the additions. Thank you for watching. If you found it useful, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, maybe even consider subscribing. And until next time, bye.